So I've decided to go with the following color palette. It has seven colors. So you can follow with with your own colors because I'm going to be referring to them as color one, two, three, all the way up to seven. My color one is white. Color two is wave blue. Color three is clear blue. Color four is mid blue. Color five is glow fuchsia. Color six is glow violet and color seven is glow twilight. So I'm going to be using the first four colors for my moons and then the last three colors I'm going to be using for my lotus. I might mix them up a, a little bit, but those are going to be the main colors. I want to start the inside of my lotus with color number one, which is my white. If you don't have my nozzle bottle, which makes it really handy for swishes and things so you can just actually put the paint straight on top. If you don't have that, you can use one of your tools. I see that the 11 mil will fit nice. So you can just keep on adding paint until you have enough paint. And then we're going to color those sections in without having them touch. Always before you pour onto your canvas, <laughs> just make sure that it's running nice and clear. Because sometimes when paint gets a little bit older, they form a little oil layer on top. And you don't want that on your canvas. I'm just going to do that and then I'll be using my small tool so my 0 0.5 and I'm just going to drag it to the chalk line so just like coloring in then color number five I'm going to do this top leaf with Put enough paint there. This paint is a little bit stiffer than I had hoped. But let's work with it and see. So I want to bring this in quite close. Because it's thick, it's actually sticking to the tool. I'm going to need to rectify that. I'm just going to add some flow medium to that bottle. But let me just get this side first. Glow violet, I'm going to do the two petals on the sides. I find dot art so meditating. I just feel that we go through so much every day and especially with how the world's been changing that we all need a little bit of a, an outlet and dot art has become so popular I think specifically because of that reason it just makes you forget about everything else and just gets you to focus on the paint and on the dots on your design and how it comes together and I don't know if you guys have ever realized that when you create a piece that you don't like you weren't in the flow if you look back you will see that you weren't in the flow of creating that piece it was almost like something was off with you and then that came through in your piece and then that's why you don't like it because it didn't flow from from a place of peace and concentration not concentration meditation it didn't flow from from your soul from your creativity point okay then i'm going to do color number seven i'm going to do this large leaf so leave that one open leaf the leaf <laughs> oh how is this looking these colors are coming together beautifully and i've also noticed that i need to be in the flow of it in order to create a piece that i really really love i had a workshop once that didn't flow at all i don't know if it was the energy of someone who attended the workshop but things just started going wrong from the minute they got here first thing is my camera fell and broke my camera is very tiny and it fell with a flash and the flash broke off the top piece so it, it actually opened the camera lid 
opened or the top of the camera opened. It was still functional, I could still use it to photograph the pattern that I was making, but that was the first thing that went wrong. The second thing, they weren't happy with the coffee cups that I had. <laughs> Not happy at all. So I had to go and find other coffee cups because they said they were too small. Instead of just having two cups of coffee. I'd since replaced them with mugs. But I mean, it's it's a silly thing. When lunch came around, um, what I did back then, I'll probably do that again, is that if I have a really long intensive workshop, which we go on for about five, six hours, because then we do like a rock and a canvas, uh, we usually go out for lunch. Let's do color number six again. We just walked down to a fantastic coffee shop that's like not even a block away, it's half a block away from where I stay. And they had brought their own food without telling me. Um, luckily there weren't any other students there, but then I was like, well, what am I supposed to eat? And then I had to make a plan for me to eat something. Next we're going to go to color number five. So we're going to go back to the first color we used here for these two leaves over here. And they brought champagne. So now they brought alcohol to my workshop, right? And that brought the bees. Yes, the bees from outside actually came into the workshop. <laughs> because I think they were smelling the champagne. And the champagne was bringing them in. And before we knew it, like my whole workshop was full of bees. And I was googling how to get the bees out of my workshop. Color number seven. And we had to close, we had to switch off all the lights and close all of the curtains and leave like one space open where the light was coming out from inside in order to get them to go outside. So it was so hard for us to see how to dart because now we didn't have any light available. <laughs> right, so now color number five, we're going to dart in there. So also depending on the space that you need to fill, you need to regulate the amount of paint that you put in there. So if you have a smaller space, you need less paint to fill it in. And then when it came around to taking the photos of my, my workshop, so in other words, everybody's pieces and everybody's standing with their pieces, they refused the photos. They also didn't like, well, it was more one particular woman, but they didn't like the piece uh, that we worked on with the rocks and complaining about it. And I can understand because we weren't in flow. We weren't in flow at all. And I get that. And I also don't like that piece, but it was there. It was created. And then the same color we're going to use in these little small, tiny little leaves. So it's being super, super precise with the amount of paint that you put on there. It's so easy to just squeeze a little bit too hard and it's <laughs> something else I've also had happen is when there's a bubble there, a little air pocket that comes outside and you're just like <laughs> all over the canvas. <sighs> The adventures with paint we have. Hmm. So now I think we must put turn this into one large leaf instead. So I think let's forget these lines. And let's just do color number seven in this space here. So those two pieces that I've got just remind me of that workshop that wasn't in flow because I don't like the pieces. <laughs> But yes, that was the, the only workshop I've ever had where all of that had happened. It was insane. And funny enough, people like buying that pattern, that canvas pattern, which is really weird. It's, it is it's one of the popular ones on my Etsy shop that gets sold. But anywho. Watch out, that's a little bit of a story time for you guys. And then the other side. Isn't this coming together beautifully? Oh, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could use a paintbrush. 
to do all of this with. I just like the texture of the thicker paint. And that's why I'd rather do it this way. I guess we all have our little methods. This is just my way. Also the precision of colouring in. It comes with time and practice. Uh, it's not so easy when you start off with. Let's see, so this one is going to be colour number six. Um, I've had many Swish Workshops students and <laughs> I can see the one who, ones who actually went home and practiced some dot art. Um, so you can see the ones who's got some practice and the ones who don't. And the ones who just did one workshop and then came back for the Swish Workshop are usually the students that struggle a little bit because they hadn't practiced the precision and when it comes to swishes it needs a lot more precision than the dots right then I'm going to use color number five for the big leaf over here The dot precision comes over time. You can still do mandalas with having extra large spacing. But when it comes to the swishes, yeah, you definitely need to practice the precision a little bit more. See, the side is going more of a, a round. Can I do it? The side is actually also a bit not bad at all. So if you guys are getting stripes, right, it just means you need a little bit more paint. Because there's not enough. So even like here, put a little bit of those coloring lines, if you can call it that. I don't know if you guys can hear that hadi da in the back. Someone asked me when I had that video with the does what kind of bird it is. It's an ibis. It's a type of an ibis and it's very loud and it can be a bit annoying but it eats like big bugs. So that also helps like big spiders and except the one that, that I told you guys about in that video of mine. <laughs> but I haven't seen because we used to have these big bugs called Parktown prawns. And I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a large cricket, um, not really a cricket, more a grasshopper type of thing. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little bit scary because it squirts out black stuff and then it also jumps towards you. So it's not scared. And then it makes this sound that goes like shh, 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 shh. It's quite a thing to catch one of those. I had to learn how to catch them because my cats used to like catching them and bring them inside because it makes such a fantastic toy. <laughs> it's like, look at it, Ma. It squirts black stuff and it jumps all over. <laughs> and we can play for it for so long before it dies. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I remember just like, I'll, I'll be sleeping and then like 3 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning, I'll just hear shh, 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 shh. shh. Now I have to get up, I have to get rid of this thing, I have to now catch a bug, huge bug. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Yay, we are done with the inside of the lotus. Every single day. 